Next part of this process will be to epoxy the through tubes below the seats to allow water to pass from the front of the boat to the rear unobstructed. To do this, I'm going to use a two-part epoxy thickened with silica and uh, just paste them in. I have my rubber gloves on to protect my hands. These are very caustic chemicals. I'm pouring four ounces of the resin and two ounces of the hardener. I have to turn it so I can see it. Okay. Thoroughly mix this till you get a nice color change. I think it's mixed. Now I'm adding the silica thickener. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, don't spill it. Whatever you do, don't spill your silica. It's, it's thickening up. I don't know that it's thickening up right, but it's thickening up. It's got lumps. I need a whisk. I'm gonna put some more. Three more scoops. Crazy stuff. All right. I'm looking for a consistent, something more between honey and peanut butter. I have a lot of lumps though. It's not good. I have a lot of stuff here. How am I ever gonna use all this? No, I don't know. I need more. You know how that goes. You always need more. I'm going to put three more little scoops here. I'm looking for something that's equivalent to what I think it ought to look like. You want to look at it? We're getting there. It's got a funny color to it. It looks like uh, something I don't know. That's like uh, thickened honey. Not, not quite thick enough though. Three more scoops. Thickener don't go as far as it used to. Oh yeah, okay. We're getting there. I like that, what do you think? It's good to me. Now we're going to make a mess. Let's go to the boat. I'm ready to epoxy the tube in. I have this end taped up so it doesn't scoop up uh, epoxy going through the hole. I'm going to pour a little bit down in the middle here and spread it out a little bit. there that I need to actually fill a little bit. 
and I think it will. Okay, that should uh, stick it in pretty good. Let's see how it works. Let's see. We're going through. Hold it up. I need a couple of paper towels. Okay, it's in there. Poured a little more epoxy down on the sides. I want to spread it down there to secure this in very good all along the, the length of it. And I got some that pushed out through the bottom here. I have it on all sides. It looks good. I think that's gonna secure it very nicely. I'm going to get rid of this little excess here. What are you doing and why? I'm trying to seal this up a little better on those edges where it doesn't fit just right. It may not do very well, but I'm gonna see if I can get it to flow in there. Well, it looks fairly good. As it gets thicker, it's easier to work with. Well, that looks pretty good, actually. Uh, I have to go to the other end. Here I am at the aft seat, going to epoxy the tube for the water pass through. I'm going to pour a little bit of the thickened epoxy down in the middle part of this and then I'm going to pass it, spread it out a little bit. I have this taped up so it doesn't scoop up what's there. I'll hold this up and take it to the other end and let it settle down and go through the hole. Perfect. Wow. <clears throat> Almost perfect. I'm going to push it through a little further. God damn it. A little stuck. That's about where I want it, right there. Now I'm going to add a little more epoxy on the sides of this to secure it. Try to close that hole off a little bit if I can. I may not be able to without putting some glass in place there, but I'm gonna do what I can here. Probably not gonna stay there. Filled with a little fiberglass 
and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I add this in there. Add a little bit on both sides. I'm going to try to make this work. Well, how come the silica alone wouldn't have taken care of that? Because it's not thick enough to fill the hole and stay there. So I'm going to add a little glass to it. a hole there we need to fill and that's the only way you can do it you got to put some glass in there to make it happen to continue with the Ginu restoration project the front seat uh, I've done a little grinding on it in preparation for glassing this panel back in uh, I'm going to fill this with a pourable foam flotation. I said it correct that time. That's good. Um, and after I get it like I want it, I'm going to fill it pretty much full. Then this will be glassed back in place and reinforced and we'll have a good seat up here. We're done with that. Let's go back here to the back seat. I have fixed the hole in the, in the back panel here. It's not cured up yet. The way I did that is I put a thin piece of plywood with a piece of plastic, which actually stuck to it really nicely, yucky, uh, on there to keep me from pushing it through the hole. Then I fiberglass this in place with some chop strand mat and epoxy mixture, a thickened epoxy mixture, and it's still, it's still tacky. Hopefully it will cure out nice and hard. See, Use the same mixture down here to install this, this feed through tube for the drain on the boat, and it turned out pretty good. The, uh, when I get through cleaning this up and grinding inside out, whatever I need to do, uh, this entire seat area will be filled with a pourable foam flotation, expandable foam. Now you pour it in, it expands up and makes a what they call a closed cell foam, which uh, is actually uh, better than just air because air will will get water in it. This closes it off where it will displace water, so you the boat will be uh, more or less unsinkable. After I get all that in, this will be glassed back in place and reinforced and we'll have a nice solid seat back here. Uh, that pretty much covers it.